the brainwave of a German Jewish neurologist. The Paralympic movement was born in 1948 when 16 wheelchair bound war veterans took part in the Stoke Mandeville Games. Twelve years later, the first official Paralympic Games took place in Rome, and since then, the event has grown enormously. It's now, in terms of athlete participation, the second biggest sporting event on the planet after the Summer Olympics. And organizers hope that London can build upon the success of the Beijing Games four years ago. This is going to be a record-breaking Paralympic Games. We have 4,200 athletes from 166 countries. That's an increase of 250 athletes and 20 countries on Beijing from four years ago. We have 16 countries who are making their debut here in London, which shows that the Paralympic movement is growing all the time. Sprinter Oscar Pistorius is the poster boy for the Paralympic Games. The South African flag bearer has already competed in the Olympics and will go in the 100 metres, 200 metres and his preferred event, the 400. Uh, I'm as proud to be a Paralympian as I am to be an Olympian. I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of. I'm so excited for this Paralympic Games. Every Paralympic athlete that's been here has done their bit to, to qualify. It makes me proud to be a part of the Paralympic movement more than ever. While Pistorius looks to defend the three golds he won in Beijing, he is just one of thousands of athletes bidding for glory in London. Britain has a team of 300 gunning for gold, while France are bringing 200 athletes across the channel. Meanwhile, at the other end of the spectrum, Cambodia, which has the highest rate of amputees in the world, is represented by just a single athlete, Tin Seng Hong. And the sporting hopes of the Palestinian territories lie with just two athletes, both residents of the Israeli blockaded Gaza Strip. The Para in Paralympic is an abbreviation of Parallel, as the Games were never conceived to compete with the Olympics themselves. And as organizers say, the next two weeks of competition are the second chapter of what they have trumpeted as a great British summer of sport.